Hello and welcome to this video on how to create a 2D family component. In this video I will show you how to create an arrow which can, use to, which can be used to indicate the levels. It will be the same as this arrow, however this arrow has been drawn with the use of a detail line. But if we create the arrow with a, as a family component we can use it in all the cross sections that we have and also elevations and so on. So first we need to go to the application menu and select new and then select family. And within these templates you have to select the template called matrix detail item then click on open. And within this template, we will draw the, the 2D component. But first, we want to change the scale to 1 to 50, because the cross section that we will use this um, arrow for is in the scale of 1 to 50. So first, select the line tool under the Create tab. And um, the intersections between the two lines is the insert point of this uh, component. So I will start the arrow with the, at the intersection. And I want the, the sides to be 140 millimeters. And then I just want to mirror this line. And then just draw the rest of the arrow with the use of the line tool. And I want the height to be, um, let's say, 60 millimeters. And the part with the text, I will just give it 520 millimeters. So this is just a simple arrow. And uh, to load it into the family, I will click on this icon right here. And then you will get this warning um, and basically you can just close it. It's just saying that you cannot place the, the 2D family component within this sheet. Um, so we need to open the cross section where we want to place the arrow. And then to place the arrow we will have to go to annotate and select component and then detail component. And then you can find the component that you have just created within this uh, within the property bar and now you can just place it like this and then you can place some text that describes the levels let's just take um, this one right here and this level is fictional but we will set it to 10 meters and then you can just move it so it's uh, in the right position so something like this and I can just delete the help lines that I have placed And now just copy the text to the different arrows, select the copy tool and make sure that you have ticked on multiple because you want to make more than one copy. And now just double click within the text in order to change it. will be 8.95 so now you have the arrows um, loaded into your family and can use it for other cross sections and facades and so on